Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my intro for my first project pen officially. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I've been pre-recording some stuff so I don't know the fact that I'm doing this on YouTube is still kind of nerve-wracking but I'm excited to do this project. It was originally done by Dallin and Steph, Steph Lyons. I have my notes right here so I can put all the information down um, so I don't forget. Um, I chose five items and this is a rolling project pan all year round and my goal is to finish these. Yeah, my goal is to finish these. So I have in my notes here, I have the starting weights for everything and depending on the editing software that I use for this video, I'll try and have the a picture up here. If not, then I'm just gonna show you. Um, but I'm starting off with my Naked Skin Urban Decay Shapeshifter Palette. This is a cream and powder palette, but I am only going to be talking about Ooh, the reflection. This contour shade. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? So this this one I know is gonna be done soon, so that one's not in the project, but this one is because it's very pigmented, I need very, very little, and I've been using it for a while, so I wanna see how much longer it's gonna take to finish. I actually have two of these, both with different amounts of usage, but this is the one that I think is the oldest, I can't tell anymore, and this is the one I think I can finish first. So this one is starting off at, because it's bulky packaging, it's gonna start at 175 grams. So I know once it's actually done, the weight isn't gonna go down that significant, I and mean, that's just because of, of the packaging, and I'm okay with that. The next one I have is what I call my Frankendation. So, Sophia Nygaard, is that how you say her name? She did that series where she was putting all of her, you know, one piece of her eyeshadow to make a Franken shadow, and she did it for blush, and she did it for foundation, and that's what I did. This has two different types of Maybelline. It has Lancome, it has a, uh, Estee Lauder, it has Catrice, it's got a bunch of different ones. It has samples that I had. Um, and I'm wearing it today because it's been so long since I've made this that I wasn't sure if it was the right shade match since uh, quarantine. I work from home now. Uh, I lost the little bit of color I did have, but it still matches fine. And this is starting out at 80 grams. So we will see, I know it holds almost two ounces of product, so it's, it's, a, it's a big bottle. So we'll see how long this takes. I'm guessing probably seven months or so is my guess is how long, only because I don't wear base products all the time anymore since I do work from home. I usually just wear my eyebrows and some basic eyeshadow and then a couple days a week I'll wear foundation just to use it because I have plenty of it. But putting this in a project, I'm hoping that that'll remind me to more consistently wear it since I don't want this to go bad because I still have four other foundations. But this is the fullest one. So that's why I was starting with this one. Next, I have a brand new brow gel. This is from Almay. Brand new. I'm gonna start it the day that this project goes up. It's going with everything. This will not be starting until the project goes up since I am pre-recording, but this starts at 18 grams. It's just a clear brow gel, really thin wand, so I'm excited about that. And uh, this is probably gonna be all year because I it took me all year to finish one brow gel last year. And my MAC Paint Pot is next. This one started at 44 grams. It does have some usage, sorry, the glare. There is some usage, if you can see. Oh my lord, there you go. <laughs> so there is some usage on it. Um, and I really wanna buy the NARS tinted eye primer, but I want this to go first since I don't want it to dry out. Um, and this is, again, everything I think is gonna take all year except for 
maybe my super shock starting at 22 grams this is a highlighter in the shade flexitarian and there is some pan there you go there we go there is some pan that happened a couple months ago and then uh i stopped using it so this is going to remind me to to use it so i'm hoping this finishes first and then the contour um, and then I can add maybe a lipstick in here or something. I wanted to add more items, but I didn't want to overwhelm myself with things. So five is good. And these are all everyday things if I'm doing my makeup every day. And that's everything for my first project pan. Wish me luck. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That way you can see my progress on my first project pan here on YouTube, and I will see you in my next video.